Um, first, a quick um, image of how it's in the Netherlands, uh, how digital takes place in the schools and also film education. Uh, film education is not part of the uh, national curriculum, like many <laughs> other countries in Europe, I think. And uh, also uh, digital education, uh, so digital literacy, is not part of the curriculum yet. Um, schools do have time to um, uh, organize projects they want to uh, teach children, um, so to uh, complement the national uh, curriculum. And sometimes they choose film. It's rare and it's incidental. Um, and there is a huge difference between uh, primary schools and secondary schools because we see that uh, secondary schools, for example, they have teachers, art teachers, who are interested in film and they implement film into the schools um, Well, from one lesson a year to a whole curriculum. But in primary schools, it's very, very rare. But Marcia will tell more about that uh, later on. Um, we have a goal, we have a mission. We want every child to become film literate. <laughs> so <laughs> we want film into the curriculum and we lobby for that, uh, uh, quite strong in fact. And uh, we is uh, my organization, I Film Museum, but also uh, we try to engage the whole community. So teachers of course and pupils, but also filmmakers uh, policy makers, uh, everyone who has um, film in its heart. And it's, we need it because film is still not on the minds of people as a serious subject uh, to be taught on schools, which is for me completely weird since film is not a choice. You are dealing with film every day. So, uh, we lobby through petitions, newsletters, articles in big newspapers, um, and of course also through film. Some examples, uh, so this is an online petition. We try to get as many um, sign, um, signs to, well, to hand it over to the Ministry of uh, Culture and Education uh, to persuade them, put it in your uh, policy. Oh, we have some articles in newspapers, also written by young people, by young uh, enthusiastic film lovers. Um, and of course, we use uh, social media. We use the digital uh, possibilities to also spread the word. Uh, and Twitter is also very effective in it. Um, these kind of seminars are also very, very important. Uh, we will organize a seminar next week during the Dutch Film Festival and we try to invite as many people as possible. Again, policy makers, filmmakers, teachers, to bring them together and talk about this topic. And we also have the International Flick Workshop. So it's really important to have projects like Flick so we can make it possible to bring all the people together and to lobby on a European level as well. Um, and to make it a bit more fun, we also created Film Teacher of the Year Award. It's the first edition this year and it will be presented next week during the seminar. And since we are talking about film, I just want to show you a little film clip. It's freshly, it's the first uh, draft. So don't pay attention to the, well, little <laughs> things in it, but it's, it's still fun.
<laughs> it's also to, to put the teacher in the spotlight because, well, there is many dis discussion going on in the Netherlands about uh, education and uh, what is wrong in education and how the teacher should teach about uh, all sorts of subjects. So there's a lot going on and we want to create a pof positive image of the teacher and the schools, of course. And also to uh, put a spotlight on teachers who are already integrating film into the schools while it's not a subject uh, uh, and uh, it's also not part of the uh, curriculum for the teachers how to become a teacher. And um, we choose this moment uh, because we are also now in a very interesting um, uh, phase. We are in the middle of reformulating the national curriculum. Um, and it's a very complex process, as you can imagine, because it's uh, a discussion about what should children learn nowadays to become, um, well, adult people in the future. And we don't know how the future looks like. And we know that the digital is very important now, but we don't know how it looks like in the future. So it's very difficult to, to discuss with each other what uh, should education look like. But of course, we, I, Film Museum, and uh, our um, uh, um, how do you say it? community, um, we like to use this moment also to stress out the importance of film education, because um, it was said before, but we see that film is a huge part, in fact, in the daily life of people and also in the schools. They use film a lot to illustrate and to talk about other subjects. But we think it's really important to talk about film. And what sort of clips do you choose as a teacher to talk about World War II or about um, bullying or about the climate change? What sort of perspective do you show and what does that mean? So we invite the teams that are working on the new curriculum to our building to discuss these sorts of topics. And it really works out very well. We spoke with the digital literacy team. The digital literacy will be a new subject. And within digital literacy, they formulated four topics. It's computational thinking, um, information skills, uh, the ICT basics, and it's media literacy. And they see film or visual literacy part as the media literacy. For us, it would be great if it has uh, a place in this uh, subject, but it's more, because film is not only uh, a medium, it's also art, it's uh, well a medium to communicate, so it does for us, uh, has also place in the languages. It's a technique and it's also heritage. So it's so much more than only this digital thing. Um, oh, so this is <laughs> the sign. <laughs> Your cue. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought, okay, this is a nice introduction because um, when I was studying to become a teacher 20 years ago, uh, I, uh, I was learned how to make the most beautiful uh, chalkboard paintings. Yeah, because there was a chalkboard hanging in the classroom. And when I started uh, at my first job, oh sorry, when I thought, yeah, I will just stay here. No, I will just stay here, so okay. <laughs> uh, when I started in my first job, I was very lucky to have one computer in the class, and or maybe two. And uh, it was not important to be uh, IT skilled. And the children, the students also, they only used the computer for uh, preparation for the for a paper or a presentation to re do research. Right now, I think I have to do. Yeah. 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 Right now, it's a digital playground. Actually, it's totally different. And uh, I used some pictures to, yeah show you what is in a classroom nowadays in the Netherlands, and I think it's not that different uh, compared to the other countries. Uh, there's a smart board, if you're happy, <laughs> a digital board sometimes, and in this classroom they have both. 
and um, well, actually, all classrooms they had, well, the children they have also uh, a tablet or a Chromebook, and um, uh, I traveled ar 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 around a lot last year, and I noticed that uh, almost every student almost have uh, uh, a Chromebook or a tablet to work on. And why is that? Because the well, in the classrooms they work very digital. Uh, all the learning methods are digital. And um, like you see on that one, it's primary school, this one. Um, they have also lesson books but, and workbooks, but they do their work also on the tablet. So it's very, um, and it's adaptive. So for a teacher, it's very interesting uh, to follow them by their own dashboard. And um, to talk about film education, nowadays, yeah, you can watch a movie uh, or uh, use moving images whenever you want. Uh, the methods, the learning methods, like mathematics or uh, language, is uh, always illustrated by moving image to introduce a theme like, um, today we're gonna do some uh, some uh, table timetables, or uh, and then they show a little introduction um, by a moving image. Um, well, like my colleague told, it's it's actually only illustrating, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, when uh, well when a teacher is really really interested in moving image or film, they. Uh, they can uh, choose for a project, and then they can make their own studio at school. That, that's only, yeah, that's not uh, working for the whole of the Netherlands. This is, accident, yeah, incidentally. At uh, secondary schools, the the students they uh, they bring their own devices and they can use it during the lessons, and so they make it more interactive and, yeah. In primary schools, the devices are paid by the government, actually. And so the, the tablets and the working devices are, uh, they stay at school and they are from the school. But in, at secondary school, they, uh, the students, they, they bring their own devices. Well, I already told you that uh, 20 years ago, you do, didn't have to be that IT skilled. Nowadays, it's very, very uh, normal. You, uh, you notice that uh, the, the pupils and the students in your classroom, uh, uh, they pay more attention when they see things and they hear things. So as a teacher, you are always trying to find the best way uh, to get attention. And uh, there are a lot of uh, platforms to find nice uh, movies. This one, I'm going to show you one. It is um, a crossover uh, in this movie. It's, it's music, it's mathematics, stop motion. I don't say anything, I just want to show you. I think it's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what do you think? How do you? <laughs> what? How will it end? Okay. <laughs> okay. You can uh, ask me later for the website. <laughs> um, uh, another thing is uh, English in the curriculum. That's already embedded uh, at the primary primary school, 
And this is uh, an example of how uh, the video clips are used in, uh, in the lessons. And uh, it, they are very, uh, yeah, well, um, in yeah, the children, they, they recognize it and that's why they want to learn more. Okay. Yeah, oh, the first one, we are written down. This one is, yeah, you can choose what, uh, what kind of level the children are and uh, you can talk about what you hear, uh, what did you see, and uh, well, um, the song you just heard, it was, a, it was sang by a famous rap artist from the, Netherlands, from the Netherlands, and they use a lot of famous artists to sing the songs, and this is of course somebody everybody knows, maybe you not, but most <laughs> students know them. <laughs> Well, that's um, what already is there. Uh, uh, you can find it at different uh, platforms or you have to buy it. Uh, for uh, Well, you have to think about it uh, as a school. What, what do I want to use? So that's a uh, method. And you have several other websites to find, find uh, nice, nice uh, moving images. What we also have is um, you can make your own um, tutorial. I heard somebody talk about tutorials. You can make your own tutorial as a student or as a teacher, and uh, then you have uh, like a goal. You want the, the students to learn, and you can make your own uh, Powtoon. This one is uh, spoken by uh, students who are trying to become a teacher, so they're uh, doing their practical, and this is the lesson they made for the students where they're doing their practical. And uh, the children, they recognize the voice of the intern, and so it's also making the, the intrinsic, uh, the motivation of the children, they want to listen, they want to learn more, so that's really also something we are trying to uh, embed in the, in the lessons. Well, happiness is a movie in class, only passive, watching a movie. That's sometimes what um, the people still think, but we as uh, I, we really want to make sure that, is, uh, that it is not only watching, and uh, what Florine is already telling you, that um, it's when it's um, said by politicians, it's important, then also the school boards are thinking, oh, maybe it's really <laughs> good to embed it more in the curriculum, and we are noticing a difference, so that's really nice. So, of course, we used uh, all these examples for our own materials. Um, and since we are not part of the curriculum, and it's not an official part of the schools, it's very difficult to persuade teachers or schools to invest with money in uh, expensive methods. So if we are going to build our own platform, uh, it's quite expensive. So we decided not to. Uh, we decided to, ver uh, to keep it very low key, very easy. Um, and uh, we also um, try to um, fit it into the system of the primary school and then also make a difference between prim primary schools and secondary schools. Uh, so we try to keep it as simple as possible so teachers don't have the uh, impression that they need to study and to understand film and to um, well invest years of investigation to do something with film. So we make it as easy as possible um, and not too formal since it's not a formal part of the curriculum. And we try to use existing software, open source tools, which are already used by teachers, so they're already familiar with the system. And, uh, well, we are very um, eager to have a film centralen <laughs> uh, 
for the Netherlands, but it's, well, it's on its way, I would say, <laughs> but it's a future wish. Uh, we would very much like to have one platform um, and which also present a curriculum of film and where you can find practical lessons which you can use on your digital school board. And in our um, research and in our uh, trial and error period to become or to create a platform like that, we experimented uh, a lot. So we have, for example, our movie zone platform. I presented already a couple of times, so I'm not going to dive into it now. But um, there you can also find uh, the definition of the very important parts of the uh, grammar of uh, cinema. Uh, we created a web series where you can uh, learn about film by watching film. And we also invite youngsters to create their own films and send it to us. Um, and we work together with popular YouTubers um, to create um, exposure and, in fact, to engage young people through these popular YouTubers, the influencers. Um, but MovieZone is a project uh, which is not really uh, focusing on schools, since we thought maybe we should avoid the school system and go directly to the youngsters, because we know they are interested in film. Um, but we will switch that uh, uh, in a couple of years because now we notice that teachers are interested in the movie zone project, so we are going to reformulate it. Um, we also uh, created Aventuren in het Donker, Adventures in the Dark. Uh, it's a method for primary schools and it was a printed uh, um, map. Uh, and we digitized it and put it on our website, but the problem was we couldn't really integrate films into the PDFs, so it was kind of, well, not really digital. So we decided to uh, have an interactive PDF. I'm just going to show it very quickly, um, which looks like, oh, it's the wrong one. Well. It, it looks like as if it's uh, a, a digital tool where you can uh, flip through the pages and play some games. But the problem was in this PDF, you cannot embed films. And it's all about film. So uh, it's not the perfect tool for us. So we started to look around and we, we um, oh, before I'm going to show the platform we are going to use, we thought maybe we can just create videos as tutorials. And this is a video we created for the cinemas. Um, they can show it just before a film screening. Um, if there's no educational um, uh, person to explain something about film, just put on this clip and then children are being taught about film. It's going on like this, so I, I will just share it with you and then you can watch it later on. It's better, I think. Um, what we actually did was, okay, so videos are very popular to use as an instruction, uh, as an um, illustration. Uh, so why not use it as an instruction to learn about film? Um, so this is the platform I was talking about. Yeah. It's the, I'm almost finished. Uh, this is the platform I was talking about we really would like to create for film. Um, it's uh, made by Stichting Future, Future NL, and this is about digital uh, literacy, and there you can see the topics again.
I was mentioning before. Um, and what they do on their website, they present the curriculum uh, in a way that uh, as a teacher you can see what uh, the purpose is of uh, the subject, what teachers should learn, uh, what students should learn. And if you click on one of the goals, you can go to the lessons that are available, which are uh, linked to this goal. And here you find all sorts of material uh, for uh, every age group. And this is what we actually also want to create for film. Because then you can show it's a complete curriculum and you can start at the age of four and then end at the age of 18. And then you are film littered completely. Um, we already uh, ex experiment and we created one lesson with uh, the Van Gogh Museum. And this is the um, example. It's uh, made by the film Loving Vincent. And the platform offers all sorts of tools. So here you can find some more information. Um, you can um, put notes for the teachers so they know a bit more about what to tell uh, with this slide. Um, uh, you can also add links to other websites to find more information. And you can, which is very important for us, add clips. So you can actually add embed clips in this system. And as you can tell down there, you have devices in the class, which means you can also organize quizzes. So especially for the uh, pupils at the secondary school, they use their own devices to play a game. So these lessons are very interactive and audiovisual uh, uh, minded. Um, yeah, so that that's it. <laughs> Vielen Dank Was? euch beiden. <lacht> um, ich habe noch mal eine Frage zu dieser Plattform. Wollt, will das das Ei alleine entwickeln oder in Partnerschaft mit anderen Organisationen? Um, well, it's um, we are kind of the initiators. But the purpose is to do it together with all the partners, uh, uh, like the film festivals and film theaters and teachers as well, who are already active in the field. Because then, of course, you can combine all the experience uh, yeah, and knowledge. Yeah. Und ich gehe auch davon aus, dass diese Plattform wahrscheinlich auch nur dann in den Niederlanden zugänglich sein wird, oder? Ähnlich wie bei Filmzentralen. Um, in English? <laughs> I <understand>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, this, this will only be in, uh, in the Netherlands. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Und um, noch mal zu dir, Martje. Entwickelt ihr auch innerhalb des Eis Formate für die Grundschulen? So, uh, uh, right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we are busy in house in the museum uh, with also uh, the digital material uh, for the children from four to twelve, so mm -hmm. primary. And um, yeah, we are uh, like Flo Florine already said. It's uh, yeah, it's a work in progress. We already have a lot of material, but not digital, not mm -hmm. like interactive digital. And with that uh, platform, Let's Not, um, we hope to be yeah uh, to be ready. Well, well, we don't know, but to start in one year or to be ready uh, in yeah three years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Gibt es noch Fragen aus dem Publikum? Thank you very much. Um, is there, do you have material for teacher education or is it, uh, you, you are discussing now about this uh, new curriculum and it's, it, it goes uh, along with the new curriculum for, for teacher education, I, I guess. Um, yeah. But it, is, it isn't really difficult or it isn't really easy to uh, also engage the uh, education for teachers. Uh, first, we need to get it into the curriculum, and then they are persuaded they should, although we, of course, we try to uh, already get into the uh, teaching of teachers, so we organize um, uh, workshops for the teachers, and uh, we also uh, organize minors with uh, 
uh, the education for teachers. So we already have it, but it's very incidental and very small. Yeah, and of course we we have many uh, um, uh, paperwork uh, uh, material for teachers, but we would like to create this sort of material also for the teachers. Yeah. I'm very interested about your lobby uh, mm -hmm. work <laughs> uh, because in France we are uh, the cinema is in the curriculum mm -hmm. and the question is to lobby to stay it in the curriculum. Ah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we are jealous on France, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We are even more jealous since you probably, it sounds to me that you have a central curriculum, so centralized and not um, the federal system as we have in Germany, which makes it um, yeah. hardly to compare <laughs> <laughs> and harder, of course, to, um, to get into the curricula. Is that right? That was the first question. Do you have a centralized curricula? curricula? Okay. As it is in um, France as well. Because we have other, mm, uh, yes, yes, okay. Um, I was really impressed by the um, by the uh, initiative uh, film teacher for the year. It's really inspiring. I take it with me, home. Do do <laughs> um, copy it and <laughs> use it. Yes. And also the clip was very nice. <laughs> well done. Um, um, uh, did I understand it right? So you have uh, several platforms that you're working with right, right. now. Yeah, and we have several, mm. yeah, and we want to integrate it into one, yeah. Okay, and how is it with the rights of on the films they, that are uh, embedded sure. there? Not only the clips, but the, the video clips, for, for example, you were showing us. Um, yeah. how, uh, is it, do, do you have the educational rights to show the films in class? Or um, um, what's the background from that? Yeah, it's, it, it's very complex. Um, and we cannot show films completely. Uh, or we can, but then we need to pay a lot. <laughs> so the clips, um, just recently, uh, there is this uh, association of distributors. And my colleague Manon, who isn't here, but she uh, gave a presentation to them to lobby for the use of film clips for education, and it was quite successful. So now they signed a paper that they will help us to uh, create this sort of uh, material uh, by the use of uh, fragments of their films. Uh, and that's uh, the first time in 30 years of lobbying and so, it was yay. We we were yeah. We were really really happy because um, uh, it cost a lot of time, and it does. It still does because the intention is not that we can use it for free. We always need to ask, and at some point uh, we also need to pay a small amount of money. Uh, it depends. It depends on which uh, distributor uh, we contact with, and for the international films, it's really, really complex. So, for example, uh, uh, Despicable Me or Harry Potter, or that's impossible to use. Yeah, yeah. But Dutch films are, um, yeah, we can we can use it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can. Yeah, we do need to kind of. Uh, put uh, a login, for example, to, to yeah, 